Warning. Listen to discretion is advised. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7. 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Access Radio. Coffee. Coffee now! Nine years running, over 500 episodes, 25,000 fans on social media, three-time award-winning podcast, the show that pissed off Arrow Stephen and Mel on Facebook. The podcast that has the most listens by the way of Ashburn, Virginia. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. Stuff and pee and poop stuff. <laughs> Nothing poo. There is some smooth knee pits out there. I got bad knees. DCR on Access Radio. Beer, your pig. <laughs> Is it a Charlie verse? No! <laughs> but I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! And here we go. Thursday, March the 10th, you are listening to, of course, Droids Can Radio, the flagship show on accessradio.ca. The flagship. The flagship show, sha. That's right. Shaw. DCR stands for? Droids Canada Radio. And? Do they know we're here? I don't know. Flagship. Advertise us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell people we're here. <clears throat> I do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we passed the one year mark. We did pass a year. And we're only on episode... 50 something? No. What? Yes. No. We didn't do full 52 episodes. You know We've already right? done best ofs, dude. <laughs> we're, we're, we've already, already done best of we're already at best of we're at the the six dollar walmart bin that's what? where we're at the last one we're, it was episode 41 so it was we are on dcr 41 but there's 52 this is, this weeks is 42. yeah but we didn't do all, all those weeks because you we remember aired the, best of no because sometimes you got st- no we aired uh podcasts we aired podcasts because, yes which you could find at droidscanada.com of course where you can find all your podcast needs where you can find a award-winning show. That's right. A four-time. Four-time. Four-time four award-winning show. We only said it three times there. I know. Four-time. I'm tired. I know. Listen, buddy, I've been dealing with a lot of things. You saw one of the problems that I dealt with. Oh, dude. And I'm just done. I don't even know, honestly, what to say anymore. Can I explain? You, you may. So... Let's say hypothetically, hypothetically. You have, hypothetically, you have a newish laptop. When new-ish. I say newish, I'm going to say I would say, say it is year. one year, three months old. Let's say a, a year and three, let's say 15 month old laptop. It is a Dell G3 Alienware laptop that costs close to $2,000. Allegedly. 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 So let's say that you, uh, you're you using said expensive laptop mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you open up said laptop and you notice there's a problem with the hinge mm-hmm. so you send it back to get repaired well i noticed it's allegedly I, I i noticed it was starting to shift so i did the adult thing i called them and i said i know i'm out of warranty however this part's starting to go i need this fixed can you look into it oh no problem we can take care of it. it's going to cost you 50 Fifty-five dollars just to send it to us. For what? To ship it, and for the diagnostics fee. Diagnostics fee. Di- yes. I feel like I'm getting the electrical checked out on my car right Dude, now. Dude, you're getting you're getting gas delivered to your house. That's <laughs> what it is. That's what so it is. So then I'm like, okay, no problem. And then um, they call me a couple days later. And go, hey, uh, just to let you know that screen needs to be replaced. That whole top part i'm like i know i told you guys this it is done it needs to be replaced i need this fixed immediately because i'm using it for the podcast and for the radio station and god only knows what else i'm using it for and i need it immediately don't hammer fist hammer fist no we have other not computer near, equipment not near, nope. not near anything i was perfectly between everything you dude noticed. you don't you don't understand the power that you have in the hammer fist you hammer fist a table someone three doors down is going to break their foot what? That's right. How? I hear sirens. Ah! <laughs> uh, I fell down the stairs. My hammer fist. No, so, so okay. I, I've been saying allegedly, but fuck yeah, this happened. It's happened. So I come over to the studio, 
<laughs> he's like, do you want to see my laptop? I'm like, yes. You didn't even see it before. Like, I don't know how to. I don't know how to take this right now. Just because you have this look of like, I'm gonna fucking like, strangle. Like everyone. you're gonna bring me to the murder room downstairs or something. Come to my murder room. <laughs> so, Damn. so he opens up. They wrapped it up nicely. Well, that's and actually that, my wrapping job, believe it okay, or not. Okay, you wrapped how it up How I know nicely. it's my wrapping job is exactly how it was when I put it in the box. They opened it, they took it out, they went, nope, put it back in, put this no, little note on no, there. No, it's, it's like they broke the hinge more and then just left you the screws out in a bag. Yeah, potentially. That had to be $300, thank you. Well, well so anyways, the guy <laughs> calls me, goes, you gotta replace the whole unit. I said, okay, no problem, whatever. Like, I wasn't upset about it. I, I, you know, I have no problem. Paying for a repair. No problem. Zero concern. Paying for repair. And then they send me back. I almost thought, I almost said it was the same box, but it's not. And I opened it up. I was excited. I got the package right now. It's just like, finally, I can go back to normal because I love my old Dell laptop. This is actually a pretty sweet laptop. It was the last time they let you do uh, custom designs to it. So I was really excited about that. And opened it up i'm like oh they replaced the whole thing because at first it looked like the top cover was all cleaned maybe they did that i don't know so i pulled it out and i saw the hinge going ah! just throw the pin out even more and i was like nope so i called them back and i'm like what the fuck is this of course you know this is a third party call center they don't care they have no interest in caring. Escalate me up to the next. Escalate and she was me up good. to the next. She was good. Yeah. She, she, you know, she's like, listen, I totally understand. It makes no sense to me because I can see you made the payment. I can see you paid for the part. I'm like, me too. <laughs> yep. I would like it back. She's like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, you have two options. Option one, <laughs> I'm going to send it back to you and you're going to fucking fix it. And if you can't fix it, you're going to figure out how to fix it because I already paid you. So that means you took responsibility of it, and you're going to pay me. Option two, you're going to give me another laptop of same or equal value because there's no reason in this world that this laptop's hinge should have gone so quickly. No reason. I never drop it. You know me. I'm very meticulous. Yes. On how I handle it. I don't throw things down. I put things down gently because I know things cost money. You don't put things down. You place them. I place them down. You place them. I place them. God, God damn it. Damn it. Anyways, wow, that was oh, oh. Got to get a, oh, I've made the COVID's taking me. You got to get a drink of water or something. I have, it's downstairs. <laughs> Anyways, so on top of that, she's like, "Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe we just refund you money." I'm like, "No, wait, ref- refunding me the money doesn't fix the laptop, and I'm still out two thousand dollars. So what does that mean to me? Like, what does that mean to me? Yeah. I'm just gonna take the laptop back." Get my money back and then go down to a computer store. Hopefully there's one in the area that can fix it and then pay them. Or you have the money already. You just fix it. Yeah, but now you're going to have to pay to ship it again. No, nope. That's being sent to me free of charge. Oh. Send me a brand new box so I can send back some free of charge. Oh. That means so- I have to drive to Niagara on the Lake and drop it off, however. Oh, pure later. Pure later. Yes, you do. I, and that and gas is going to cost you 120 bucks. I think I should ask for compensation. With that said, I want blood, and here's the Dropkick Murphys on nice. Access Radio. And we're back. Your award-nominated show on the Access Radio Network is back on the air. I think we're the only one that's award-nominated and award-winning. <laughs> Correct. Well, what I say? Nothing. I said you're correct. Uh, the way how you said it is if I was trying to pick a fight or make a comment on someone, I was just stating a factual Why would content. we do that? It was a factual statement. We would not do that. Are we peeking? Are we peeking? I don't think we're peeking. Are you no. peeking? I'm um, well. Did you take some drugs before you got here? I took the drugs. Clearly, the people of Japan have taken the drugs. Yes, apparently they have. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, they are about... They make up 10% of our audience, which is funny to me. Ten percent of our podcast audience audience is from Japan. Japan. Because we have something called stats. We have stats. We have stats. Yes. I mean, Russia. We got one listen. That's just not a good topic these days. We have one one single. Ukraine. Listen. We don't have a listen to Ukraine. Damn it! It's too easy with the hammer fist. Sorry, I just I want our voice to be heard over but there. But we have one listen in Russia. One listen in Russia. Damn. I wonder if it's a uh, no. K. 
can't be him. We got 30 in China. He's been busy. This is just this year, of course. So before you know. Don't worry. The United States has got us covered to close to 5,000 this year. All right. Now, how about, like, you said... Kanaki is not, good, not so good. We're number two in Japan? We are, well, for us. Like, they're our number two. Our number three is Canada. So... Our home country is bronze. Our right home now. country never listened to Always us. Always the bronze. You know what I find funny about about our friend circle in Canada? Oh, we support you, but I won't listen to your show. Is my show bad? <laughs> no. No. You guys are funny. So why don't you support me? Can you subscribe to my cosplay page? Oh. <laughs> no. You don't listen to my... Oh, I know. I feel like likes for likes, buddy. Likes, likes for, for likes. likes. Oh my god, <laughs> that, that, that don't be, work no more, dude. So. That would be a good T-shirt to walk around a convention with. Likes for likes. <laughs> I just don't understand it, man. Like, I mean, join the community. I used likes to do for likes. a segment called Cosplayer Spotlight. I don't know if you remember that. or I not. I do remember that. And once I realized that we would, they were gaining and we were losing out of it. I was like, no more. Yeah. I don't say we should be gaining and they should be losing. It should be like an even keel. But when you have to tell the person you're doing the interview with, can you share this to your social media so that they know we actually did this interview? Because I feel like I've wasted time. Shut up. You're not a part of this conversation. The, the categories. It's, I, had, I had one where she firmly believed herself as this character. She answered every question in character like i would ask questions like how long you been cosplaying for i don't cosplay i am this character okay see i wish i could get that interview that you did get be, that interview I, that would be fun you did get that interview i don't remember interviewing brampton someone. batman he didn't even fucking flinch no brampton batman was just that was a strange one that was a strange <laughs> that's one. that's a strange um, one remember the one interview i did with the person um. who was raven from, uh, I don't remember. Teen Titans. Um, was that the? That was in Philly. That was in Philly. It was in Philly, and so I started talking about Teen Titans, and the person had absolutely no idea <laughs> who the character. <laughs> and she the was worst part is, you're the god stranger. You know shit. No, and, and you're like, like, I know oh, more than you. It's just like, no, I just like the outfit. I think it's pretty. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> likes, I, I likes think for it's likes. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Literally, we do need a likes for likes t-shirt. and need, just see We if need a likes for likes t-shirt? It. Likes for likes. Uh, thumbs up for thumbs up. Thumbs <laughs> likes up for likes. thumbs up? Okay, okay. Well, I don't know how that's going to go, Dan. No, I don't know either. I, I, that was funny, though. How soon till we're canceled, dude? It's, it can go any, it, you know what? Any time. Really, it's just an any time situation, you know? Any time. Yeah, any anytime. We're just kind of just waiting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. We're just kind of waiting for shit to roll downhill. For yeah, us but, to go. but here's surprised. the thing. Here's the thing. Like we've started branching off into the United States. Okay. Oh, that's well. And branching off into the United States. Do you think if we got canceled with the local stuff, we would still have our United States stuff? <clears throat> that's a good question. That is a good question. I firmly believe. That if we broke off and just did our own thing, um, I think we'd still do fine. I think the got to keep in mind as well is that the Americans love podcasting. That's a way of life for them. They love this shit. Whereas Canada, it's like, eh. Like my page. <laughs> <laughs> like my page, bro. Buy my buttons. Buy my picks. <laughs> Buy my buttons. I ne- I remember one time I interviewed someone. Now, I it's going to sound horrible when I say it, but I'm going to say it anyways. If I'm putting you on my show as an interview to help expose, you know, give you some more exposure. Mm-hmm. And I say, you know, it would be really cool if I can have like, because you know how we got the wall of shame. Yeah. It would be kind of cool if you can sign an autograph for the wall of shame. Okay, 30 bucks. Was it Virgil? No, <laughs> it was a Chevette. And I was like looking at the person oh, going, dear Lord. dear Lord, looking at the person just going, oh, no. let me get this straight. Oh, no. I just put you over. <laughs> I just put you over 
on our so- oh, no. your social media has 500 people my social media has 25,000 people we oh, average 4 to 5,000 listens a month oh, and okay. you're like $30 oh. like what is that and then I was like okay don't worry about it. no and then the, the t- then the whole story changed baby's gotta eat <laughs> listen being a cosplayer a low level cosplayer does not pay the bills no I listen and I, I'm going to take heat for it. I don't care. Jessica Nigri is not a cosplayer. She's a dumb blonde bimbo who dresses up as a cosplayer. Oh. She's not a cosplayer. She's cause famous. Ah, uh, okay. Right? And anyone who wants to argue with Matt, please send all your hate mail to Adroids Canada. Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> And I'll be more than happy to have a great conversation with you because she is not a cosplayer. She's not. She's not. Look, guys, I wore my Pokemon bikini. I'm Pikachu today. You're barely wearing any clothes. That does not make you a cosplayer. You know what's a cosplayer? That fucking 350-pound guy at Niagara Falls Comic Con who made the, what is it, um, Galvatron costume out of cardboard. I was impressed. Yeah, there's some. Uh, impre- I was impressed. There's some super impressive. He wasn't a good looking guy. There. He was a guy who went for the love of the show. Yeah, and that's what I. That makes me angry about a lot of people is that, you know, if you want to cosplay, knock yourself out. I mean, whatever. But don't say you're a cosplayer when you're all you're there for is to get dollar signs. You're not there. Right? You're just cosplay. You're trying to be cos famous. Like, come on now, come on, come on. But how many people would sell out what they do to become cos famous? I wouldn't. No. No. I would. No. Fucking right. For what? What's that? For what? Give me the So you could be like every day, you're like, today I'm wearing this nice suit. Please buy these dental teeth strips that's sponsoring my show today. And um, I'm hollow and an empty person because I'm doing all this stuff. Dude, we were going to sell farts in a jar. (laughs) Hey, those jars would not have been hollow. On that note, here's some Boston more than a feeling. I think I'm done ranting Big for whip now. bros. I don't understand why uh, postal workers always want to shoot people. They're not good at their job. <laughs> I mean, I don't... like When I lived at my parents' house, they came by like clockwork. Every day. One o'clock. Mail. Here's your mail. Moved a bunch, bunch of times, whatever. Never really noticed because I was barely home because I was always <sighs> being busy. And then when I moved to St. Catharines, I mainly this the condo. They come at such random times. One day it's ten a.m. The next day it's three p.m. The next day after that's one thirty. It's like, is there any consistent? And they always change. It's never the same person. Why is that? So you have to understand something about the mail world. First, I'm going to say, do you know that? Canada Post is the only people who can legally run a red light in Canada? No. They are the only ones who can legally run a red light. Why? Because they still work for the the monarch. And nothing can impede anything being sent from the queen. Something on those lines or whatnot. Are they delivering her body parts? um, Why people go nuts with, um, with, with, like, go, well quote-unquote going postal is because it is the same thing every day over and over and no matter how far you get ahead you're always behind because as soon as you think you're done you get another boatload of letters dropped on you and that's what it is to make a person go crazy now when it comes to delivery services as you know i do know a little bit about that um the reasons why is for home delivery, it always comes at different time because there are so many different routes that you have to take. You get what would be you get given to you what would be the most um, efficient route. So it might be the third delivery of the day. It might be the hundredth of the day. Mm-hmm. That's why you never know when things are going to come, even mm-hmm. if it is pure later or if it's FedEx or UPS or whatever. Now, when it comes to Canada Post. Yeah, I think just a lot of people get pissed off and just call in sick. So half their staff it's, is relief staff. Well, I mean, we also work live in a world that uh, our nurses are going to get a five thousand dollar bonus. Don't go. Here's five thousand dollars. Don't quit. 
Well, I didn't get a bonus. Did you? No, nothing. Like my job was technically essential. It is essential. Um, my job. I worked that the I entire during... time. I mean, I didn't get no weird COVID pay time off. My job that I had during um, COVID was also considered essential, and all it was was busier. True. Mm-hmm. But um, so. Yeah, I actually, when I saw the thing last night on the news about the pissed off workers, it's a very touchy subject. Here's where the problem lies. You need to revamp the whole fucking system. For which again? Canadian health care. Oh. It is so broken. It's broken. Our free universal health care system is not free. And it is so mismanaged. That's why people can't get paid their fair living wage. People are upset about only getting a 1% raise each year. Anyone who doesn't work for anything that's paid by the government doesn't get that shit ever. How much do they make in a year? What's that? How much does a nurse make in a year? No. A lot. They make a lot of money. A lot of money. And, you know, there's other departments... Nah, making a good amount of money, but I mean, they didn't get recognized for all the hard work either, so that's why I just don't care about it. But then the argument is, well, it's really tough times. Right? Really tough times. Bullshit. No. No shit. Um, but not to sound cold, didn't you sign up for this job? I don't want to sound cold. It's like, it's like me working in a grocery <laughs> store and going, God damn it, I gotta bag groceries all day. Dude. This is horse shit. This is horseshit that I have to bag groceries all day. What do you think my boss is going to say to me? You applied. That has been over two decades of Look. my argument. Over that, that's two the... decades. What? I have to work on Christmas? You signed up you for it. chose to work here. You chose to work what? here. I have to work on New Year's? Yet again, you chose to work here. Mm-hmm. What? What do you mean I have to work on Valentine's Day? Well, you chose to work here. You likes for likes. You likes chose to likes. work here. Oh, there it is. That's my but new it's thing. True. Like, how do you get so angry about these type of things? Um, okay, me, listen. We all have our bad days at work, and I'm not going to discount that. Everyone's me, allowed to have a bad day. Me. But me. Imagine that, though. Me. You're you're in the middle of a war conflict, and you're a battlefield triage uh, nurse or doctor, and you're like. <sighs> Another one. This is horse shit. I'm just going to go home. This is bullshit. I'm not getting paid enough. Bitch, it's war. You wanted to be a fucking triage doctor. This is the fucking job you do. I'm sorry. See, there's a flip side to it. Like, they are responsible for people's lives. Um, sure. I'm not going to argue that, too. No, wait a second. You chose it. I mean, why would you take... But that's that's always been one of my things is that... That's the reason why I don't want to be management ever again. Me. I did the management spiel. I did it for almost twenty years, and everyone's like, "Well, you should get back into management." Why? I'm loving the career field I'm in right now. I have a good amount of responsibility, not an overbearing amount of responsibility. I get to go in. I enjoy my job. I don't stress out. I'm not smoking. I'm not doing anything to that. And effect. you're not the first person who the higher ups who don't know what's actually going on goes to. Right. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. I don't want that responsibility, and I accept that. But I wouldn't take a management job and be mad. I'm like, oh, man, i got to talk to the same guy again today. You're not the first stop in the shit elevator. That's right. That's right. So with that said, here is me. some Drain You by Nirvana. Drain me. Like for like. What do you mean I can't bring it up? <laughs> okay, I just want to clarify. Oh. We were talking about a mutual friend we have. Oh, I'm not going to say no. names. no. And no. he made a comment about how he's like... Tommy, no. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, no. no. <laughs> he's going to kill him, Coach. <laughs> he's going to kill him. <laughs> and then I said he also had sex with that dead girl. <laughs> and then he was like, what? I'm like, no, she was alive at that time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tommy, no. <laughs> Tommy, no. <laughs> that was such a good underrated movie. Best of the best. <laughs> best <laughs> of the best. I actually watched it a couple couple months ago. That's it's such a good movie. With Eric Roberts, right? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that Julie Roberts' brother? <laughs> I don't know. Let's ask... No, my... I, okay, my Google. Siri, ask Google. Okay, Google. Is Julie Roberts' brother Eric Roberts? It's gonna be a no. 
On the website stutteringhelp.org, they say, Eric and Julia Roberts are a brother and sister act that is unique in the world of acting. Bam! You want a little more context? No. What really? That's a, I there learned you something go. new today. See? Tommy no. Tommy no. <laughs> okay, Google. With six wins okay, right? Google. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut why, up. Why is it talking about the bears? <laughs> the bears. The bears. <laughs> you, you, you're fine in the clip. That's me. How can I help? What? What? She drinks a lot. Your name is the bears? <laughs> Listen. Sorry, she... I don't have any information about that. Damn straight you don't. Okay, hold on, hold on. What? Oh. oh no! Oh, oh! <laughs> That's what we're okay. waiting for. Hold on! Listen! Listen! I got! Uh, listen! 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 I don't know. <laughs> Give me a minute. <sighs> Tommy, no! No! Coach! Coach! He's gonna kill us! No! Oh, James Earl Jones. <laughs> Tommy he looks no. exactly the same. You know that, right? Yes, he does. All these years, he's always looked like a very old man. Yeah. He's like the opposite to like Dick Clark. Uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest. Yes, Ryan Seacrest has looked the same. Um, Dalmer no. Cher has always looked the same. This is a few people that vote because they're vampires. Like for like. Like for like. <laughs> she was alive, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Dalmer no. She was alive, coach. When I did her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, come on. Listen. That's it. This could be it for us. This could be it. <laughs> this is it? This is it. Okay, well, we're going to take a break because it's got out of control here with some Zero Signal by Fear Factory at Oxus Radio. Tommy, no! It's one of those days, Dan. One of those literal days that I don't know We've had how complete... we have never been canceled. This has been. I don't mean from the radio station. I mean cancel culture Just has not life. showed up to the door and went... You're canceled. No, it's just in life. Canceled we're gonna, we in can't life. listen. We canceled so many people. You're just on the list. This you're this has really been. Low. Yeah, we're just kind of a work. I think we're up. just like because we're such small potatoes when we're not. That I think that's the best part is that they think droids can have small potatoes, but we're not. It's an illusion. Yeah, we're like we're like the Japanese. Ha- I'm gonna be Hasselhoff. walking in the Toronto Comic Con, strutting my shit. Like we're it big don't in Japan. Stick. Well, we are, yeah. I'm very tall. That's that's the front of the shirt. I'm like we're big. One. We're big in Japan. Okay. Uh, and it's not a racist thing because we might be taller. Oh, I am. Tall. And on the back, it'll just say likes for likes. I'm <laughs> tall and fat. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna be like, oh man, is he gonna is he here to Russell the Big Show tonight? I'm like, no. Droids Canada. We're big in Japan. Oh, that's <laughs> how we get shut the door. I'm done. You're done. I'm not even ending it with the correct music. It is Rancid's. Ruby Soho, will we be canceled? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe see you next week, but if 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 not, come see us. DroidsCanada.com. Like for like. Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Son of a bitch! Bullshit, Hulk Hogan! To beat a man, you gotta beat the man! And I'm saying, woo! Right here! I'm the man!